Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Well, it's good to be with you today. You know, we're going to go back before we go forward because I was just reviewing um, chapter 24, and there was something I wanted to touch on before we move forward. So if you have your Bibles, chapter 24, and uh, we're in verse 25. So 24, 25, great to be with you. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pray, and we'll see what the Lord has to say to us. Father, thank you. God, thank you for your word. And um, God, it is oftentimes like honey, but then at the same time, um, it can be bitter, God. It can be challenging. And so help us to receive both in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, the Bible says in verse 25, chapter 24, and as he reasoned about righteousness and self-control in the coming judgment, Felix was alarmed and said, go away for the present. When I get an opportunity, I will summon you. Paul's in custody. He's at Caesarea by the sea. Felix is the governor of Judea at the time. And so Paul gets a minute, you know, with Felix and his wife, Drusilla. Um, they want to hear what Paul has to say. They're intrigued, and um, it's more than intrigue. Like, if you continue to reading, what you discover is that uh, Felix was also greedy. He knew Paul had connections. He was well-networked. And there was probably some opportunity um, to, to blackmail Paul and to get some money out of him. And so there are all these motivations that were going on in this man's heart. And Paul has an opportunity to uh, share his testimony, which is exactly what he does. He, you know, he begins to talk to him. The, the, the categories of discussion are laid out here, and you'll notice they're not necessarily easy ones. He, that is Paul, reasoned with Felix about righteousness, self-control, and the coming judgment. Righteousness, self-control, and the coming judgment. You know, um, John in the book of Revelation was given a book and he was commanded by an angel to eat the book. And when he did, um, he said it was sweet like honey, but it was also bitter, um, similar to what the prophet Jeremiah said. And, you know, I think that reflects the reality that oftentimes, you know, when we're taking in the word of God, whether we're reading ourselves or we're hearing someone share a message, um, there are times, man, where it is just sweet. You know, it's easy. It's easy to take in. They're uplifting topics or, you know, things that are really encouraging and, and edifying and building up, you know. Um, they're just, there are just times when we're reading the word and God's pouring out the reality of how deeply he loves us and how faithful he'll always be. And then at the same time, you know, the same word, not only does it bring that joy and that healing, but oftentimes it cuts. Oftentimes it's not easy to hear. Sometimes the message is tough and challenging. And, and you know, when we taste it, there's like a, there's a bitterness to it. And, um, and it's important for us to be receptive to God's word in both cases. Felix here in this situation, Paul, like, man, he, he goes straight into it, right? He's going for the jugular here. He's talking about righteousness, you know, obviously uh, righteousness in the sense of God's perspective of doing right and self-control, living in a way where we're not just carried away by the lust of the flesh. And then all of that tied into the coming judgment that there is a God that we're going to be accountable to, that we're going to have to stand before we're going to have to give an account of our lives and the things that, that we've done. And I mean, I don't know the full um, content of Paul's message, but I do think he was like, you know, l navigating a path that would ultimately lead to the reality that we need a savior, you know, that uh, we need someone to stand between us and God, someone who can uh, mediate on our behalf. And, and of course, that only happens when we see that we have sinned and we're convicted of our sin and we confess our sin. Felix's response is so typical, right? It's so typical. He puts, he puts Paul off. Like these are hard topics. He doesn't want to really deal with it. And so he essentially says, man, you know, when I've got uh, a better opportunity to hear you, Paul, now's not the opportune time. I'm done, door closed, 
conversation over, turning the knob off, I don't wanna hear it anymore. And you know, that oftentimes is the human response when God says things that are hard for us to, to take in. Two things today. Number one, maybe you've never put your trust and faith in Christ. And when it gets to things like this and you know, the message starts to hit close to home, you have a tendency to wanna to close the door and turn it off. And I wanna encourage you, man, the place of healing is when you take in the hard stuff and you receive it as it is, and then you respond to God the way that he calls us to, because the Bible says that the role of the Holy Spirit is to convict us of our sin, not to beat us down, but to lead us to the love of God. And I would also say today, secondly, that if you're a Christian, man, embrace those moments where the Lord just drops a solid bomb, right? Solid but painful. Jeremiah said this, the Lord cuts, so that he can heal. Every time he brings a hard word, it is a good word with good purpose. So let's embrace it and let's grow. In Jesus' name, God bless you. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.